Season 1 of Luther introduces Chief Inspector John Luther, who returns to the police force after several months of suspension due to having a nervous breakdown. That breakdown came after Luther allowed an abuser named Henry Madsen to plummet to his death, although the criminal ended up surviving and falling into a coma. This decision severely affected Luther's mental health, not only temporarily costing him his job, but also ruining his marriage to his wife Zoe. As Luther tries to put his life back together and pursue reconciliation with his wife, Zoe has already moved on and began dating a man named Mark. Working alongside Luther is his boss, Rose Teller, the eager and loyal rookie Justin Ripley, and Luther's best friend, Ian Reed. Luther's first case upon returning to work is investigating the double homicide of a husband and wife. Luther quickly realizes that the couple's daughter, Alice Morgan, is the true murderer, but is unable to prove it. Alice Morgan is a genius narcissistic psychopath who feels proud to have evaded arrest. Luther and Alice form a strange fascination with each other that verges on romantic, which leads to Alice hiring women to assault Mark in the hopes of reuniting Luther and Zoe. And when Henry Madsen awakes from his coma, Alice murders him to prevent him from testifying against Luther. While investigating a diamond robbery, Luther discovers that Reed had allowed the robbery to take place in exchange for a cut of the profits. Reed kills his criminal contact and goes on the run. Resolved to kill his best friend to save himself, Reed holds Zoe hostage to lure Luther into a trap. When Zoe fights back, Reed kills her and frames Luther for the murder. Rose Teller believes Reed's story and blames herself for allowing Luther back on the force, then stages a manhunt for the disgraced detective. Meanwhile, investigator Martin Schenk has doubts about Luther's crimes and begins looking further into Zoe's murder. When Teller gives the kill order for Luther, the loyal Ripley intervenes and helps his friend escape the police. Luther then turns to Alice Morgan for help in clearing his name and taking down Reed. The duo team up with Zoe's grieving boyfriend Mark to capture Reed and force him into giving a taped confession. Reed begs Luther to kill him, but Luther resists the temptation and instead tries to arrest him. When Mark ask Alice to kill Reed, she complies. And so, as the police arrive, Luther, Alice, and Mark are left standing over the dead body of Detective Ian Reed. In Season 2 of Luther, John Luther is still reeling over the death of his wife Zoe. Luther and Justin Ripley join a new police unit called Serious and Serial, led by Martin Schink. Working alongside them are the ambitious detective Aaron Gray and technology expert Benny Silver. Meanwhile, Alice Morgan has been institutionalized, but Luther helps her escape. An old acquaintance from Luther's past then asks him to save her daughter Jenny Jones, who has been forced into a world of drugs and prostitution. Luther saves Jenny and develops a fatherly role toward her. When one of Jenny's abusers comes after her, Jenny kills him and Luther helps cover up the murder and ensure her future safety. In Season 3 of Luther, the ambitious detective Aaron Gray teams up with police superintendent George Stark to investigate John Luther's history of corruption and unethical methods to take down suspects. Suspects. The duo attempt to manipulate Ripley into helping them build a case against Luther, but Ripley refuses and remains loyal to his partner. Despite the investigation, Luther is slowly getting his personal life back on track, beginning a relationship with a woman named Mary Day. Luther's next case is a violent vigilante named Tom Marwood, who begins murdering criminals while demanding justice for his wife, who had been assaulted and killed four years prior. While attempting to apprehend Marwood, the vigilante shoots and kills Ripley. Luther is absolutely devastated over his friend's death, and his grieving is made worse when Stark and Grey blame him for the death and arrest him. Despite her resolve to take down Luther and his corrupt ways, Grey begins to realize that Stark's extreme hatred for the man has clouded his judgment, as Luther's love for Ripley was apparent to everyone. Fortunately, Luther still has friends on his side. Alice Morgan returns to town and is secretly assisted by Luther's loyal colleagues Shank and Benny in freeing the detective. Marwood then goes after Mary, and as Luther pursues the killer, Stark and Grey pursue the detective. In a confrontation with Marwood, Stark is killed and Grey is critically injured while trying to protect Mary. Marwood then captures Mary and Alice and holds them at gunpoint, forcing Luther to choose which of them to save. A distraught Luther chooses Mary, but before Marwood can kill Alice, the women fight back and Alice kills the murderer. As the season comes to a close, Mary ends her relationship with Luther and urges him to pursue Alice instead. 
In season four of Luther, the titular detective is living in a self-imposed exile, retired from the police force, grieving Ripley and disconnected from Alice. Luther is pulled from his exile when new Sirius and serial recruits Theo Bloom and Emma Lane pay him a visit to inform him that Alice Morgan has been murdered. Luther returns to London to investigate Alice's death on his own, abducting an old-school gangster named George Cornelius and torturing him for information. Cornelius denies killing Alice, but confesses he had met her when she attempted to sell him stolen diamonds in the hopes of using the money to run away with Luther. Cornelius eventually escapes from Luther and puts out a bounty on the detective's head. Meanwhile, Shank and his serious and serial squad begin investigating a cannibalistic serial killer. When Bloom is killed during the investigation, Luther reluctantly rejoins his old unit to help bring the killer to justice. The team discovers that the cannibal killer is a man named Stephen Rose, and Luther and Lane track him and his newest victims to an abandoned hospital. Lane kills Rose and saves his captives, earning some small form of justice for her deceased partner Bloom. Luther is then visited by a mysterious woman named Megan Cantor, who claims to have received a psychic message from the dead Alice. The message pertains to a case from early in Luther's career involving a young boy named Jonathan Black, whose murderer was never caught. Megan's message points to a woman named Stacy Bell, who Luther had always suspected as Jonathan's killer, but never had the evidence to prove it. Luther goes to Cornelius and offers to give him all of Alice's stolen diamonds in exchange for the gangster to call off his bounty on Luther's life and a big batch of drugs. Luther plants the drugs in Stacy Bell's apartment and then convinces Shank to send the police to investigate. While finding the drugs, the police also find evidence linking Stacy to Jonathan's death, finally bringing the killer to justice. Megan Cantor reveals to Luther that she was a childhood friend of Jonathan's and had spent her life since trying to take down the killer. Realizing Luther's connection to Alice, Cantor lied about the psychic message to trick the detective into revisiting the years old case. As the season comes to a close, John Luther remains resolved to uncover the truth behind Alice Morgan's death. In Season 5 of Luther, John Luther finds himself paired up with Sirius and Serial's newest recruit, Catherine Halliday, to investigate a new violent serial killer. Dr. Vivian Lake informs the team that she believes one of her patients, James Hauser, could be the killer. But it turns out Dr. Lake's husband, Jeremy, is the real killer, and Dr. Lake is framing her patient to throw off the investigation. Although the husband and wife have an agreement on how Jeremy can go about his killings, a brain tumor has caused the man to become more violent and unstable. Eventually, Luther and Halliday arrest Dr. Lake, but Jeremy escapes and allows his wife to take the fall for his crimes as he searches for his next victim. As the serious and serial unit hunt for Jeremy Lake, Luther pulls away to focus on his own problems. Alistair, the son of gangster George Cornelius, has been kidnapped. Cornelius suspects that Luther might have knowledge about Alistair's location and sends men to beat and torture him for answers. After escaping Cornelius's men, Luther is paid a surprise visit by the very much alive Alice Morgan. Alice had faked her death after killing some of Cornelius's goons and is resurfacing now to put an end to George Cornelius and reunite with Luther. Alice's return reminds Luther of their time together and the complicated romance that they formed. But things can never be simple with Alice Morgan as she murders Alistair, sending George Cornelius on a rampage. The gangster sends a hitman named Palmer to strike Luther where it hurts, kidnapping his lover Alice, his friend Mark, and his loyal co-worker Benny. After Palmer executes Benny, Luther makes a deal with Cornelius to end the cycle of violence. The duo kill Palmer, ensuring Alice and Mark's safety, but Cornelius takes a photo of Luther standing over the assassin's body to use as blackmail against the detective should he ever need it. When Alice discovers that Luther had struck a peace deal with Cornelius, she becomes furious and seeks a sinister revenge of her own. Just as Alice attempts to murder Cornelius, Shink and the police arrive to arrest him, scaring Alice off. Cornelius then shows Shink his blackmail photo of Luther, completely incriminating the the detective. Meanwhile, Luther and Halliday finally catch the serial killer Jeremy and put an end to his reign of terror. Knowing Shank was preparing to arrest him, Luther asks Halliday to let him go and gather evidence to clear his name. But before Luther can leave, Alice arrives and murders Halliday. Feeling betrayed by Luther's deal with Cornelius, Alice has finally snapped beyond repair. 
As Shank and the police close in on Luther, the detective chases Alice into a construction site. As the two toxic lovers fight, Alice forces Luther to allow her to fall to her death. As the series comes to a close, Shank arrives at the construction site and arrests Luther. The detective's messy entanglement with Alice Morgan has finally led to his inevitable downfall.